to handle a missing object from a dynamic URL, we are gonna import a new shortcut called git object or 404. So basically it's going to raise a 404 page if it's not used. So all we need to do here is git object or 404, the actual model that we're using, and then the lookup parameters that we're using, and that will solve that error. So we save that, and now if I go in here on product does not exist, no longer will it give me this sort of error. Instead, it'll just say page not found. This is a valid error. There's one more way to do this, and that is putting it inside of a try block. Let's do that really quickly from django.http import HTTP 404. This will also raise that 404 page much like this git object or 404. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment this one out and do obj equals to product.objects.get id equals to id. And again, I said I'm gonna put it into a try block here to handle the exception. So except this is product or the model name does not exist, then we'll go ahead and raise the HTTP 404. Okay, so we save that, refresh in here. Again, we get that 404 error, and if I change it to some other number, still doing that. Okay, cool. So actually, let's look at this real quick to see how I know that this is it, other than the fact that I've been doing this so long. Um, so if I save this just like that, refresh, I get this. This is an exception right there. That's an exception. This is just a simple way to handle said exception. This get object or 404 is the preferred method because it's a lot faster than writing all of these different things out or even just the entire try block. So again, I'll just use that.